We begin with breaking news in the Middle East. Iranian state media reporting President Ibrahim Raisi is dead following a helicopter crash in northern Iran. Crews searching through foggy, cold conditions to find the wreckage and the bodies. The 63-year-old Iranian leader returning from the border with Azerbaijan when his helicopter went down. Iran's foreign minister also among those killed. News Nation's Robert Sherman has the latest from Tel Aviv. Robert, how is the world reacting at this hour? Well, I mean, especially here in the region, Adrian, you've seen a lot of countries with an outpouring of support for Iran, especially some of their allies that are here in the Middle East. But to put it simply, we're all waiting to see how this shakes up the landscape here in the region with the fact that you had the president of Iran as well as the foreign minister as two of the most prominent players on the international stage here in the Middle East, given the fact that they're both very out publicly outspoken in support of the Palestinians, but also never bashful about rebuking the United States and threatening to up the ante if they ever felt threatened on their home country here. I want to show you this video from inside of that helicopter, which comes from Iranian state television. You're actually looking at President Ibrahim Rahisi right here. Uh, alongside of him, that's the foreign minister, Hussein Amir Abdalian. They can both be seen riding that helicopter. They were taking a trip to the Azerbaijani border for the unveiling of a dam that had just been constructed. And it's believed that the reason that their helicopter went down was due to weather in the area. You've seen these images of this thick haze that was on the ground in that region there, making it difficult for crews to locate the helicopter. Iran's supreme leader trying to reassure citizens that there will be no disruptions in the functioning of the Islamic Republic. Take a listen to this. Be sure that there will be no disruption in the work of the country. Officials have been busy with their work very strongly since this evening after hearing the news of the incident. We have given them the necessary recommendations and everything. The affairs of the country are proceeding regularly, both the security of the country and the security of the borders. On the ground in Iran, people waking up to this news with a shock as, as they've learned of the death of their president. It's important to note that those who do not support the regime typically don't feel comfortable speaking out in Iran for fear of consequences there. But there are others on the ground acknowledging that the future looks uncertain. When this happened yesterday and now this morning, when the news was confirmed, we really felt as if we'd lost an important support and weight. In terms of what this means for the future of Iran, Supreme Leader, Ibra, uh, Supreme Leader Khamenei is still in charge of the whole situation in Iran. Ibrahim Rahisi was viewed as an effective heir apparent to him, though. The Supreme Leader is about 85 years old. So now there are questions of who could possibly be that next protege or next in line in Iran. That is the big question that still remains unanswered at this hour. Adrian. All right, Robert, thank you very much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.